One of the things that have marked Nigeria out in the African continent since independence in 1960 is the constant churning out of outstanding writers and literatures. Certain individuals symbolize this. Think of Wale Shoinka, Chinua Achebe, J.P. Clark, Mabel Shegun, Ben Okri, or Chimamanda Adichie in more recent years. But it's not just those individuals who have come to symbolize how important Nigeria is in the world of literature. Other things like the various book festivals, book events, and the sheer volume of literary works produced yearly in the country define Nigeria as a critical literary hub in Africa. Another symbol is the important literary prizes in the country. The biggest of them in terms of its monetary value and influence is the Nigeria Prize for Literature sponsored by the Nigeria Liquefied and Natural Gas Limited, NLNG. The reward for winning first prize for this annual contest is $100,000, which is about 35 million naira. Last week, we introduced the three shortlisted writers for the 2017 edition of the Big Prize to you. Dr. Kudo Eresia A.K., the General Manager External Relations of the NLNG, is the man who manages the prize. He sat with us to explain the vision for the prize and how the 2017 edition has been. Enjoy our chat. Doctor, nice to have you here again. I'm delighted to be here again. Thank you so much. The Nigeria Prize for Literature, if you were to contextualize it, if you were to place it within um, what somebody might call contemporary literary history in Nigeria, how would you place the Nigeria Prize for Literature? I think this prize will stand as the sun. As the sun, and we believe that it plays the role of the sun. We respect the role that's akin to the role that the sun plays with regard to vegetation. Often you find that when you experiment with plants in the dark or semi-dark, and then you provide a window through which the sunshine can come in, the plant begins to tilt towards the sun and is inspired because of the energy that comes through to help it do the photosynthesis and to grow. We believe that that is what the prize does for Nigerian literature, has done and continues to do, especially in contemporary discussions or evolution of literature in Nigeria. We cannot, for example, discuss literature today as is in the context of Nigeria without the Nigeria Prize for Literature. Because the new stars that we are creating are measuring themselves, validating themselves through the biggest prize on the continent of Africa. There may be a few who are not contesting for some reason or the other, but they're generally on the fringes. For the bulk, the Nigeria Prize for Literature is a defining factor. One of the criticisms um, thrown at the Nigeria Prize for Literature is, is that very young people don't seem to be winning it. Uh, what's your take on that? How do you respond to that? Luckily, excellence has no boundaries. Excellence is not defined by age, by race, or by sex, creed, or religion. Excellence is universal. When it stands out like diamond, everyone, irrespective of origin, appreciates it. It doesn't matter how old or how young, a diamond stands out. So, if I'm afraid to compete, of course, I would want to employ tonism. It's my turn. It's our turn. So I can decrease the bracket of those who are competing. Unfortunately, the Nigeria Prize can only be won for one reason, excellence. It has no respect for age 
for creed, for religion as a basis for awarding the prize. Those who want it must strive for it. There have been younger ones that won the prize. Tade cannot be said to be an old man who won the prize. Or what are they thinking? That someone who has not schooled himself, hasn't paid the price, hasn't gone through the crucibles of learning how to write literature, can win the prize? It takes effort. And I'm not saying that the 20-year-old cannot, but he has to pay the price. What's NLNG's vision for the Nigeria Prize for Literature? The vision is central to help to build a better Nigeria. That's what this is about. Now, if you want, if you're really interested in helping any community, any country, any, any organization become better, or especially a nation, you must look to education. Yeah? You must look to those things that inspire them to become better and better people. And that's education. So we necessarily, if we're serious about education, support that mechanism for self-expression and inspire it to such a level that it is world class. And Nigeria is never afraid of being world class anyway. We have produced them. And what is there to worry about? We'll keep producing them. And we'll need to then make sure that we put a stake on the ground that says, whoever writer we see that we recognize in Nigeria is good enough to be a world class writer anywhere. That's it. That's what this prize is about. It's about being bold to be Nigerian. That's what this prize is about. It's about showing that we are as good as any in the world. That's what this is about. It's about being proudly Nigerian. So when will the winner of the 2017 Nigeria Prize for Literature be announced? The Nigeria Prize for Literature winner for 2017 is <laughs> on the 9th of October. And that looks over. And the 9th of October, because that was the very first day Nigeria LNG set out a ship uh, loaded with LNG for the very first time past the borders of Nigeria. So that's it. That's for us, it's a historical date. And that's why the, the announcement on the 9th of October. You've managed this prize for, for some years now. What would you describe as your standout experience or observation over the years? I'm just humbled by the talent in Nigeria. That a country can be so blessed with such astounding talents and yet have so much difficulty in solving his own problems. No matter how much I think in terms of dialectics, I can't find a resolution. So as we make progress on the journey with the Nigeria Prize for Literature, and the talents are thrown up, and the excellence, and the rigor is demonstrated, I ask myself, well, these are Nigerians. Why is it then difficult that we are, why is it then difficult for us to translate this level of rigor, excellence, into our society for the good of all, so we all can grow? It's a question I haven't been able to answer. It's a question that I carry with me. Thank you very much, sir. Nice to have this chat with you. Thank you, Lord Kunle. Always a great pleasure to be with you. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed being with us again today. As always, please send us your comments through any of our social media platforms displayed on your screen. I am Olakunle Kasumu. Remember, one great book can change your life. Bye-bye.